Hey Cancer, welcome to your 2020 uh, love reading. Um, this will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights on what's coming, where you are at right now, and what's coming in uh, 2020 in love. All right, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about my personal readings, the tarot decks that I'm using, as well as links to all my extended reads are all in the description box below. Also, I'm, I'm doing this 333 giveaways. Um, my way of thanking everybody for um, the 30,000 plus subscribers as of today. I'm pretty new here in YouTube. So thank you again. And with that, um, I'm giving away a couple of tarot cards um, such as these and a couple more others. Um, if you want to participate in the giveaways, uh, there is a video in the description box below to guide you on how to participate in. All right. So um, now let's go and do the reading for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for you in love today and um, for 2020? What do we have for Cancer? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. Cancer, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, Three of Coins. Ten of Wands, <coughs> Four of Wands, and the Nine of Coins. Here we have Six of Swords, Hangman, and the Ace of Wands. At the bottom of the deck we have the Page of Wands. Are you in negotiation right now with the person that you're dealing with? I feel that um, you probably had a lot of... Um, you've been in this uh, connection for quite a while. You've been aiming for stability in being with this person. For some of you, this could be marriage or long-term partnership. Uh, but it may have become a codependent kind of relationship. Something related to finances or um, even then. could be uh, several reasons. It could even be you know, some form of insecurity that may have um, worsened as you continue to be with one another. Somebody may not have given um, the level of security that the other party needs in a connection. Okay. I'll be clarifying it, um, this reading with the Oracle of Visions. It's the mini version. And this these cards are numbered, so they don't have titles, but um, let's go. I'm just going to be um, incorporating the messages as I go along. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Cancer. Let's um, start your reading. Um, I feel, Cancer, that like I said, you may be undergoing some form of um, things in this connection. Things have already ended in a partnership, in a relationship. I do feel that there is the current situation right now is the aftermath of an ending. And um, it could be related to some breakup that you've had with this person, somebody that um, uh, you may have been in, in a very close uh, connection, deep 
deep-seated or um, you have this deep connection with someone. It could be marriage or a, a long-term relationship or just um, you dating or going with this person and, uh, for, a long, for quite a long time where you have built some sort of foundation but not to the level perhaps that you really wanted to. That for some of you, really, you got to a point where there has been a foundation that was uh, made. And apparently, um, I feel that there could have been some secrets. You've, you've gathered some, you know, the confidentiality of, of love or some form of secrets that were known that may have um, given, given you a lot of burden. It could be a secret that... Um, Oh yeah, it's a secret, so it was kept hidden from you. But then when it came into the surface, your trust has been broken by, by this person that you're dealing with. And there goes the, um, the choices that you need to make, whether do you still want to pursue this connection or not. But from where you're standing at right now, I could see that you were, you're feeling betrayed. You're thinking as though... Um, You've put, uh, you've you've lost um, some, you know. For some of you, you've even lost that sense of um, self, because it looks like when you were with this person, um, you've given a whole lot, yourself, your time, money, energy, effort, for whatever you could to build a, a firmer, stronger foundation with someone, but your trust has been broken, and um, now. You're, you're trying to pick up the pieces. Like I said, ending has transpired. You're feeling betrayed. It, it, this is a very painful um, ending. For some, I wouldn't be surprised if you're trying to call some friends to um, support you, to, to talk to you on a, you know, as and when you need it. Because as of this moment, you generally need cancer to find time to allocate or to refocus your time and energy even the analysis, if you're thinking about this uh, uh, scenario over and over again, you get a break out from it from time to time. Because otherwise, this could lead to some form of depression even if you prolong, if you stay long and alone in that uh, mood, okay? Um, I feel that you're losing your... Unfortunately, you're feeling down. Of course, there goes the losing that sense of self at some point because um, you're trying to pick up the pieces of what's left. Um, for some, you could even be trying to possibly even negotiate with this person Yeah, in the recent past. Or for some of you, you could still be talking to, to this person every now and then and seeing... Um, what could be a place where, or what could be a possibility of finding a compromise of this situation. For some of you, Cancer, because I feel that you don't want to be alone, you don't want to be single, and that f fear of being single all over again, especially if you've been with this person for quite a while, is um, pretty hard to face, especially at this point. Okay? And... Um, at night, when you sleep, or even when you're alone with your thoughts, I could sense that you could be um, feeling defeated, definitely, yeah, because of, of that betrayal, somebody has betrayed you, and there is this energy that you're hoping that things could at least be um, ironed out with this person, but at the same time, you're also at the verge of thinking, should you just let this go? Mm -hmm. There's a part of you really, um, you know, that you're wanting to uh, reach out to this person to, to get a common ground. I feel, yeah, strongly after the betrayal, after this painful ending, um, this is in the stage of wanting to negotiate or even an ongoing negotiation to see how, how best you could really um, move away from this phase and then on to something that is beneficial beneficial for both of you. Okay. And I do see, Cancer, that this would um, 
continue for a while, for a couple of days perhaps, or for some of you in the next five weeks, I see. Five days, five weeks. Mm -hmm. But then, um, at this point in time, I could see that there is this energy coming towards you in the new year, in January. Um, because this reading is for your, um, how to, uh, when you kick off the 2020, I see that, um, you may feel that the person that you're dealing with is moving on very quiet, which is rightfully so, um, they could be quiet, um, not uh, communicating with you. Sometimes they would not even respond to your messages and you could feel you might feel that this person is moving on, moving away from you, and just um, leaving this off. Yeah, But I do sense that that form of um, withdrawal is that necessary transition from the breakup, from the commotion, from the tower moment, I could feel, or from that phase where trust has been broken. You need this necessary transition in order for you to see what could be the next better phase for both of you. Yeah. You may be you may be led to believe that the person is moving away from you for good. But that is a form of at least from your perspective right now, that could be a form of just a form of illusion because now you really want it's hard to let go on something that you have built a, a stronger foundation on. And when you see that the other party is moving away, definitely that could give you a lot of stress could keep you um, thinking and over over analyzing things and how to bring them back yeah but as of this time I could see that um, the um, message is let loose for a while let go for a while because this is not permanent them moving away for good is kind of a like a false illusion for now uh, it's it's an illusion for now because nothing is clear especially after this ending, everything is still fresh, the pain, the hurt, yeah, even the harsh words could be. Yeah, that's that's um, just an illusion. Nothing is, in, is concrete at this point. The only concrete thing is that after this um, painful ending you've had with someone, you need to take that necessary pause, the necessary transition to have um, to bring you both into a clearer phase uh, where you can think things through get new um, fresh energies in your mind in your heart as well as with your person mm -hmm. because at least even in january you would this person would would try to see um would try to think think would try to get some illumination in terms of how how this ending transpired who could be at fault and if they are there is a possibility that um, this person would think of how to go about making amends things will becoming will become clearer at least in in the first uh, month of the year 2020 and that also is the phase of healing this person would try to spend time alone even you know walk in the park heal their wounds in order for them to really be whole again and um, be able to face whatever you wherever you both have left I could see this person would you could you won't be surprised this person would be reaching out to friends talking to new friends perhaps but it's not something that um, uh, I don't see that they are moving away and find another connection. It's not that. This is a necessary transition I am seeing. Yeah. Because ultimately, in 2020, at least for this connection, I do see that there's going to be a new passionate beginning for you. Somebody is going to initiate, um, initiate towards someone to start something off again. Something that is something that um, this person would truly want to do as well as uh, would be um, rather more interesting for you. So that could be even reconciliation if that is something that you want. Okay, but there is this new beginning coming towards you in the, um, 
in the new year. But this necessary transition needs to take place. Okay? This needs to take place because as of this moment, reconciliation is still a wishful thinking for you and even for your partner. This is still unclear. Okay? Because the, the, as of this time, you are in the process of um, processing this ending as well as processing to let go of the hurt, of the pain. Definitely, it's healing. All right? So um, this is how I see you uh, moving into 2020. Um, I'm going to be extending this reading and I will be pulling more cards to get more insights for each of the month. So I'll do it per quarter. I'll, I'll do about four scenarios right here. If you want to follow me in the extended to get more insights on what's coming in 2020, the link will be in the description box below. Otherwise, leave me comments and let me know how this resonates with you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. And if you want to um, partake in or participate in the um, 333 giveaways that I'm having right now, the link on how to join the, um, the giveaways are also in the description box below. And um, I've just recently announced the three winners uh, for today for, for these three cards. So um, hope you could join and enjoy it with me. And if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.